One of the Republicans that was running to replace Lauren Boebert in the district that she fled now says that the party that he wanted to be an elected representative of is irre irredeemable, that it should fall, that it's time for it to go away. This is Ron Hanks, not as cool as Tom Hanks in a variety of ways, but anyway, he said after losing, I don't take anything that happens personally. But what I do see is the Republican Party has basically made itself irredeemable. So what's interesting here is he didn't, he, it's not like he lost, he was trying to like reform the party, take it back from the brink of all the Trump stuff or anything. No, he was like super hardcore Trump. He in fact campaigned basically on the fact that he was in DC for January 6th. But despite that, he lost to this attorney, Jeff Hurd. And as a result of that, he now says this party should fall, this party should collapse. We are so infiltrated with people that have impure motives that we can't trust people in our own party. It's like having the enemy wear, wearing our uniform in war. He's a veteran of the military. And that sort of language infests literally everything that he says. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com team and become a member today. Now, what is it about Jeff Hurd that gives him impure motives, but not Ron Hanks, who again campaigned mainly on the fact that he tried to overturn the results of the election? I don't know, he's not saying, not that, but he is saying a lot. He says, I think we've set ourselves up here for a Republican party that can't redeem itself. And that's just cold analytics. And this, look, the reason I wanna talk about this is he's kind of insane, but it's such a weird, interesting insanity because he lost. And he wants the GOP to die, but the GOP right now is run by Donald Trump and mainly the people that he's picked. There's a few rebels or whatever, but it's mainly that. And he wants it to fall even though he loves Trump. He says that Trump needed him in office to get his agenda through. And now he's not gonna have him, so he wants the current Republican party to fall apart. And he talks about it in such violent terms. He says, right now we've got a government that we don't own, that we can't control, that we cannot even get a foothold into. And I guess we have to remember the goodness in this because if it gets to civil war, it's going to be hard to know who's on the wrong side. Again, Trump is the candidate. The guy he wants is in charge, but they can't get a hold in the party that Trump has totally taken over. I don't know if this is just Mania, I don't know if this is just sour grapes. I don't know what you do, because again, the party is lost. It is irredeemable, but not for any of the reasons that he's describing here. So I don't know, what do you make of this, if anything, yes? Yeah, this makes me think of Republicans who watch that show, uh, The Boys, and they think that Homelander is the good guy, right? Homelander is objectively not the good guy. He's like Nazi adjacent, right? But whenever you watch something like that and you want to see yourself in what you think is the good guy, then you're going to see that, right? Uh, when, so when he says the Republican Party has made itself irredeemable, what does that mean to him? You know, what does he want the GOP to look like? I guarantee you, it is not what you or I or this audience would like. Like to see from the GOP. But in his mind, you know, he, everybody has their ideal of what something should be. And the further something deviates from what their personal ideal is, then the worse they're going to see it. And mm -hmm. it's very difficult whenever you only have two parties. And, you know, again, we were talking about baskets, you know, that those two parties have to encompass all of these ideas over here and all of these ideas over here. And so if you're anywhere on any kind of spectrum for any one of those individual ideas, then you're gonna think that something's a little off. So whenever we have two parties, you know, there's there's not a whole lot to choose from. He wants a new GOP. I don't want to know what his idea of a good GOP is gonna be, considering everything that you mentioned about him as far as you know being an election denier and a Trumpster and all of that. So yeah, and talking about how like if it gets to civil war, the, the bad thing about it is that we don't know who is on the wrong side. Not that we're in a civil war. <laughs> Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.